Hey tires, Darren here. Welcome back to another fly tying tutorial. Today we're going to be tying up an articulated flesh fly. This is basically a standard flesh fly that you'd be fishing up in the Alaska or BC waters. Um, and it's just got a point of articulation and a couple acrylic beads to represent the egg spawn in there as well. It's a fairly simple fly, but one that gives you a lot of action and is one that I probably wouldn't go salmon fishing without. Alright, let's have a look at the materials and get started tying up this fly. All right, let's get this out of the vise and get started. We are going to start off with a tube fly hook. Leave us a number four. And we're gonna use a tan six aught thread for this. And I'm just gonna start by tying on the base layer of thread. I'm going to be using a flesh colored rabbit strip. Uh, there's a number of different colors you could use tan, ginger. The uh, hairline product with the two tone flesh colored rabbit strips are great as well. So just cut a V in the back of the leather. And we're just going to tie on a short tail. We'll just kind of separate the hair from the leather there high enough spot that we can tie that down firmly on the hook shank. This is kind of like a micro flesh fly, this part here. So just a few wraps, make sure that that's tight on there. We'll wrap our thread to the eye. And we're just going to take a couple wraps. We'll tie that off at the eye here. Just want to make sure that you separate the hair from the just so that you have like a nice clean tie in point. We'll trim off this so that the eye is clear. I'm going to save that for the second half. When you're out shopping for zonker strips, you want to look for zonkers that have fairly thin leather. You don't want them to have too thick of leather on the bottom of the strip. It makes it really hard to palmer flies like this. And again, also, you don't want to have it too thin because it breaks easily. So about two millimeters, three millimeters is probably a decent size. So I'm going to whip finish this. All right, we'll just take that out for a second. Just stick it in our material clip. Next, I'm going to take a 30 millimeter fly tying shank. We'll put a link in the description for those. And we're just going to start by tying on the base layer of thread here. Next I'm going to take a section of intruder wire and I'm just going to start by lashing it along the just the top here. I just want it to come out on one side. And I've left a tag end and I'm going to fold that back 
just to help really secure that in. I've got a couple beads here. These are uh, from North Shore Trope Beads. And these are an eight millimeter acrylic bead. These have a beautiful shine to them and they're really gonna get some attention when they're in the water. So I'm just gonna start by threading those both onto the wire. And then I'm going to thread the that small rear hook and then I'm going to thread through the beads again. Make sure I got them both. Be a little bit tricky. Alright, there we go. And you just want to cinch that up so there's not too much movement. And I'm going to stick that hook back in that material clip so I don't stab myself with it. I'm going to come in here and tie that wire to the other side of the hook shank. And I'm just going to come in with my wire cutters, clip that tag end off, I'm going to make sure that this wire is super secure, lots of wraps, and then I'm going to fold back this tag end here, and that's going to really secure that. This is uh, 20 pound wires, so it should be fairly, fairly good for anything I'm catching. Don't think I'll be getting into any 50 or 60 pound fish, so should be good. Right now that we got that on, I'm going to come back to our flush colored rabbit strip. I'm just going to pull up, see how the hair sweeps back. I'm going to pull that ahead a little bit, just cut a little bit off the back end, and I'm going to use that and turn it upside down. That's going to be my tie-in point for the front part of this fly. Tie that down, and then we'll just advance our thread to the head. And then all we need to do to finish this fly is just add a few wraps. I'm just going to advance that forward. And I like to, when I'm wrapping this, I give it a little bit of a stretch as I wrap. It just helps to lengthen it out a little bit, I guess. And then at the head, I'm just going to separate the hairs. Make sure we get that wrapped down securely. Come in here and trim that off. And then it's just a matter of cleaning up that head. You can trim that down a little bit more if you like. And go ahead and give that a whip finish. Just make sure you got all the hair from that zonker strip stroke back. There you go, the articulated flesh fly.
Thanks for stopping by my fly tying channel and watching my tutorials. If you're new here and like this sort of thing, why not hit that subscribe button? I'd love to hear from you, so if you have anything to say, leave it in the comments below. Until next time, this is Darren saying, keep a hook in your vice. Cheers.